A controversial peace deal brokered with former rebels. A divided Congress where main parties have failed to secure a majority while right-wing parties are on the rise and paramilitaries remain active. Colombia's fragile peace is facing ongoing challenges. Will its citizens see longed-for stability any time in the near future? For over half a century, a conflict has raged between the left-wing military group, the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia, known as the FARC, and the Colombian government. 220,000 were killed, 25,000 disappeared, and nearly 7 million Colombians were displaced. But at the end of 2016, President Juan Manuel Santos pushed through a new deal that hinged on a simple trade-off. The FARC has agreed to lay down its weapons in exchange for the chance to participate in political elections. Desde hoy, soy candidato a la presidencia de la República, representando a mi partido, la Fuerza Alternativa Revolucionaria del Común, y me comprometo a encabezar ese gobierno de transición que genere las condiciones para el nacimiento de una nueva Colombia. Un gobierno que representará por fin los intereses de los pobres en Colombia. In summer 2017, the former rebels handed over their arms to the UN. A stockpile of more than 8,100 guns, 22 tons of explosives and thousands of grenades and landmines, signaling what many hoped would be an end to the violence. But this new peace is already being tested. The country is battling corruption and a rising right wing. At the height of its influence, the group controlled as much as a quarter of the country's territory. And the landscape still bears the legacy of the conflict. Landmines are buried throughout the mountainsides of Colombia, the second highest number in the world after Afghanistan. Viva! Viva la gente del Kabul! For now, the FARC has suspended campaigning, citing threats to its candidates and the ill health of its leader. But in reality, the group's political ambitions could be thwarted, not by current obstacles, but by a legacy of violence that Colombians won't soon forget.